the executives of the Fiji Muslim League, uh, Fiji Muslim Sports Association, sponsors for this year, Mr. Bob Kumar, CEO of Fiji Football, participating teams, invited guests, media representatives, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon to you all. Indeed, it gives me great pleasure to be here with you at the opening of the 57th Muslim IDC in our capital city. This is indeed a great achievement and I thank you for that and of course thank you very much for the invitation extended to me. I'd also like to take this opportunity to extend a warm and a very special welcome to all the teams who have traveled from across uh, Viti Levu, Vanua Levu and of course our teams from Australia. Welcome to Fiji. And uh, a special welcome to your families. I believe your families are also here with you. So welcome to Fiji once again. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this event is indeed a strong commitment, as mentioned by the <coughs> CEO, Mr. Kumar, towards the development of sports. And I think that's the very reason we have gathered here. And uh, also mentioned that we all hold soccer dear to our hearts. As a very ardent soccer fan myself, I'm sure that we will witness performances of highest quality during the course of this tournament. I'm sure you will all do your best and compete at the spirit of sportsmanship and fair play and take this opportunity to come closer to each other. At this point, please allow me to share with you a quote from Jesse Owens the legendary American athlete who won four gold medals in the 1936 Summer Olympics in Berlin, in Germany, he said, I quote, friendships born on the field are the real gold of competition. Awards become corroded, but friends do not gather dust. Certainly, sorry, unquote, certainly each one of you will put your skills and talents against your opponents from other teams. But I encourage you to make most of this wonderful opportunity to showcase the spirit of brotherhood. Ladies and gentlemen, I think very few will dispute that sports makes you strong, healthy, disciplined, and teaches us to accept defeat and victory. These lessons later become building blocks of successes in our lives. Having said that, I believe that this tournament is normally held in the earlier part of the year, but because of the mentioned TC Winston, there has been a delay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all aware that TC Winston created havoc for Fiji on the 20th of February this year. And from that time till now, our fellow Fijians are engaged in rebuilding their lives. Some of you from the West, some of you from the North may have been affected during this time. I salute you for your resilience and for the fact that we have stood strong and united during this time of disaster. Like I said, our fellow Fijians were affected. Some lost their lives, some got injured, <coughs> some lost their houses, some also uh, lost their beloved family ones. And with the support of everyone, we are still trying to make sure that we assist our fellow Fijians in rebuilding their lives as quickly as possible. The Fijian government's initiatives such as Health for Homes, Adopt a School, Adopt a Village programs, uh, we are trying to bring this assistance to the very affected communities. We are also amazed with the tremendous response and support provided through our stakeholders, both locally and internationally. Assistance poured in from donor agencies, corporate bodies, NGOs, families, individuals. It was indeed truly inspiring to see our collaborative approach taken to respond to such rehabilitation programs. May I thank all of you for your support rendered towards TC Winston and the continuing rebuilding efforts. Ladies and gentlemen, however, there is still a lot of work to be done before lives normalize for our fellow affected Fijians. Despite this, life has to go on as is planned, regardless of what we encounter as individuals, as organizations, and as a nation. We must rise above our trials and move forward in a positive and steady direction. On that note, may I congratulate the Fiji Muslim Sports Association and the, the sponsors for organizing such an event. The IDC tournament indeed has become popular with our younger and uh, elder generations alike. It gives teams that competitive spirit to do the best 
It also allows all to develop the interest in sports and also bring about the much needed socialization amongst families that we need. It is in events such as this, ladies and gentlemen, that we as a government are also um, able to raise awareness on issues that challenge us on a daily basis. One of the things that challenges us as a ministry now is, I'm sure you're aware of the fact, on top of the national agenda is violence against our women and children. Please allow me to um, address this with you here this afternoon. When we refer to the daily media reports, we are reminded of how serious this issue has become and thus the need for it to be addressed at all levels, home level, public platforms, uh, for us to fight against this. As a minister responsible for women, children, the elderly and the disabled Fijians, I urge all our men and women to come on board with us to assist us in this fight against violence and crimes committed against women and children, senior citizens and disabled persons. As I look around, I see a lot of um, younger men, and of course some senior men. Uh, many at times, men are blamed. I'm not saying all men are bad. We have a lot of good men, and all of you present here. I'm sure. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sure you are good men, and I urge you to uh, be responsible. Be responsible uh, fathers. Be responsible husbands. Responsible brothers, and join us in saying that there is no excuse at all. There is never an excuse for violence against anybody in our society, especially our women, children, the elderly, and the disabled. As we come together, ladies and gentlemen, to participate in a sporting activity, may we not only return with great soccer experiences and memories, but also with knowledge and understanding that our women, our children, our elderly, our disabled, the vulnerable groups deserve the best. They need to be treated with equally, with dignity, and with respect. Let us begin in our homes, for I believe that each one of us has the power to change what's happening around us. Let us begin this in our homes. Let us be true and honest in our relationships. Let us be committed to our parental responsibilities. Let us teach our children to honor and treat each other with respect. Let us walk towards building and fostering a culture where we recognize and respect each other regardless of gender, age, color, and religious beliefs. Let us strive towards a caring society where we look out to each other and hope that each one of us will respect on what has been said today and stand up to the call of respecting each other and to turn away from attitudes of negligence and ignorance that is so prevalent in our society today. We can only create a better world when each one of us, that is you and me, walk together to ensure that we inculcate the culture of unity and peace within our homes and within our own selves. At this event, I ask each one of you to reach out to your communities, to your homes, in championing the rights of our women, children, elderly, and the disabled towards creating happy, prosperous families in Fiji. As true sportsmen, please emulate behaviors which reflect honesty, integrity, compassion, dedication, and sincerity, so that you not only become a role model in your own home for your own children, but for your greater community. Ladies and gentlemen, also, if, if I look around, I see a lot of uh, rubbish lying, not a lot, but the rubbish will pile up. Just a kind reminder, um, please do the right thing, organizers. I'm sure you'll put some rubbish bins around and promote uh, Keep Fiji Clean campaign. And of course, we need your uh, assistance to do that. And once again, please allow me to convey my best wishes to the participating team, your supporters, and I'm sure the numbers will grow as your tournament progresses in the weekend. I'm sure there are some shortfalls, and, uh, and I'm also sure that we can walk in true Fijian spirit and make the best of what is available to us in order to have a very, very successful uh, tournament. Once again, a big thank you to the organizers for the invitation and for this organization. May the best team win. With these words, please join me also in wishing our boys in London the very best for the weekend. And I wish you all a blessed, successful, and a safe tournament. And with these words, it is my pleasure to declare your uh, IDC open. Thank you.